is Jesus, our bread of life. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. This is our reflection question for today. Holy Spirit, make my heart open to the Word of God. Make my heart open to goodness. Make my heart open to the beauty of God. In this third week of Easter, the gospel is primarily from the Bread of Life discourse of the Gospel of John in chapter 6. And Jesus speaks to us today, I am the living bread that came down from heaven. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. And the bread that I will give is my flesh for the life of the world. As some may remember, in the Holy Thursday uh, reflection I shared, related to the apostolic uh, letter, Mani Noviscom Domini, translated, Stay with us, Lord. This was written by St. John Paul II for the year of the Eucharist, from October 2004 to October 2005. The Eucharist is spiritual food for our journey to life, especially to nourish and prepare us for our final pilgrimage to heaven. The gift of the Eucharist, the body, blood, soul, and divinity of Jesus makes him present to us today and every day. But the Eucharist is not only a gift. To us, but also a mission. The closing words at Mass is not simply a dismissal, but a sending for God's people to bring the light and love of Christ to the world. This was also emphasized by Dr. Edward Sri in his book entitled A Biblical Walk Through the Mass. He writes that the word Mass comes from the Latin Misa which means dismissal or sending forth. Joyce Rupp is a well-known Catholic author and speaker. In the introduction of her book entitled Fresh Bread, she narrates an encounter with the parish council where she said, and I quote, you have so much potential as leaders of this parish you can become a handful of dough made holy, leaven, so the rest of the parish can be holy. You are meant to be leaven of faith to others. And towards the end, she challenged them, saying, Each time you eat bread, take a moment to pray for those entrusted to your care. Remember, you are meant to be a handful of dough, the leaven of faith for others. Decide on a regular time each day when you will deliberately pause for prayer, reading, and keeping a journal. Allow this time to be a leaven for you so that all your life will be transformed in God. Thus, you will become a blessing for many. End of quote. May the season of Easter, my dear brothers and sisters, deepen our devotion to the Holy Eucharist by receiving the gift more worthily and frequent adoration in the Blessed Sacrament. We also pray for the grace that the blessing we receive may bless others as well. And let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord, imitating the prayer of St. Ignatius, we say, Let us see you more clearly, love you more dearly, 
and follow you more nearly day by day. And may you be our constant companion as we share with those entrusted to our care the spiritual nourishment of the Eucharist for the life of the world. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families. God bless the Catholic Church and couples for Christ.